The instrument should be installed on a firm and tight warp top. The installation position distance between wall should be larger than 30 cm. If you have two instruments, the distance should be more than 50 cm. Next, we will install the software and put in the CD. Open CD. First, install the USB driver. Click on the USB driver folder. We can see two installer packages, the x64 and the x86 version of the USB driver. 64-bit operating system install the x64 version. The x86 version driver is prepared for the 32-bit operating system. Check the computer operating systems. Right-click on My Computer Properties. Check the System Information Panel. The operating system is a 64-bit operating system. So we're going to install the x64 version driver. Double-click on the package to install the USB driver. Click Next. Choose I accept this agreement and next. The driver has been installed successfully. Go back to the previous directory. Next, install the AGS4800 software. Double click on the program to install. The password is a lowercase AGS4800. The password is on the label of the CD. The default installation location is C drive. We recommend to install it in other drives. The software generates plenty of local files during runtime. Local files will take up the space of drive. Click Browse to select location. Change the location drive here. Other file names keep unchanged. Software installation complete. Close the software. Turn on the power of the instrument. The instrument will start self-checking program. During the self-checking program period, the computer will install the USB driver firstly. The notification indicates that the USB driver is installed successfully. Double-click on the desktop software to open AGS4800. Check the status of connections. Connected indicates that three sections have been all connected successfully. Next, we will start to prepare the reagent program. Add the program for 10 cycles. Set 95 degree temperature. Set the constant temperature for 10 seconds. Add another 55 degree temperature. Set 10 seconds at a constant temperature. Sampling the fluorescence. Select at least two channels. Save the file. The files are stored in the data folder in the installation directory. The program files are basically stored in this folder. The name of file is named by year, month, date, hour, minute, and second. 
the underlying one is the section one. The underlying two and three are respectively indicating for section two and three. Click start run. Start running. Perform the same settings for section 2 and 3. When the instrument is running, the green light will start to blink to show that the instrument is working normally. The program is running the total time that it is shown here. Here shows the remaining time. The bottom is the current temperature of the heart rate. When the heart rate goes up to the set temperature, the remaining time will start to change. Temperatures start to rise. Observe the heating rate, whether it is more than 2 degrees per second. If the heating rate is more than 2 degrees per second, it's working normally. as well as the cooling rate. Observe the temperature change. Whether the cooling rate is more than 2 degrees per second. If the cooling rate is more than 2 degrees per second, it's working normally. Keep the observation for other sections. During the instrument working period, it will show the fluorescence signal value. Move the mouse to the top curve. The curve will show the fluorescence value. If the instrument can read the fluorescence correctly, indicate that the instrument is working normally.